Hi everyone, I'm Claire Rogers. Um, I really struggle with my chipping and I don't hit that many greens. So last time I got a lesson from a pro, I had Danielle Kane give me a putting lesson, but I'm not hitting greens like I should be. So I have Jess Corda here who's gonna give me some tips hopefully and I can, you know, get up and down a little bit more and hit it closer to the green and things like that. So Let's see if we get, what, what we're working yeah. with. taking a lot of lessons but like iron lessons uh -huh. um, and I'm kind of like working on I tend to like go like this as opposed to like just turn yeah yeah um, you, got, you got the sliding hips yes exactly which I realized I've done my whole life and I didn't know so I too had that issue really but actually it doesn't look bad okay everything kind of from your short game or your pitching chipping motion actually does translate into your swing right so that's why a lot of us spend so much time on our short game because it's actually still practicing the swing yes so that's kind of whatever i guess you were taught in your swing you should definitely do so in your short game. short game okay yeah i don't even know if i did that there like a little chunky well that's just florida green all right so Actually, it's not bad at all. Okay. Um, all I would say is you don't actually rotate going back. I so I, okay. no. So I would just like just relax a little bit into the motion uh -huh. and do. If you make a couple of practice swings, kind of feel that rhythm of, of like it. Into the back leg a little. Yeah, bit. yeah. Just feel like the rhythm of it. Yeah. There you go. And the less kind of hinge you use on um, grain especially will help you because grain is going to catch that leading edge and we want to use the bounce. So okay. the more you kind of hinge it, the more it digs and the more it, you use a sh straight back, okay. it'll catch that bounce a bit more. Can you just show me your yeah. like, go-to? All right. And are there any drills? Like what's your go-to chipping drill that you use? I mean, for everyone it's so different. Like I said, it translates into the swing. So for me, it's like softness of the arms, and um, keeping just my body moving this way because I too slide. Right. So okay. for me, it's it's definitely just feeling kind of the weight forward, feeling really relaxed, and just really just getting that club to slide through the ground. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want it to dig. The more you kind of hinge, the more you're right. going to use that leading edge. Okay. So you want to. Yeah, I'll be focusing on your hands. Yeah. Here. Okay. Really kind of like wide-ish and then just rotate through. All right. Like that. Yeah. So I was sliding there. Yeah. <laughs> don't, just don't slide. There you go. Okay, cool. That was a really nice strike. Perfect. All right. See if I can hit one on the green before we end here. Looks like it's like 60 yards. Yeah. Right. Cold, wet. Yeah. Got a lot of rain, so it's sticking. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much. This is no great. <laughs>